Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Biology Notes. Today I am going to discuss the life cycle of Entamoeba histolytica. Entamoeba histolytica requires only one host that is human to complete its life cycle. Mature quadrinucleated cysts are the infective stage of Entamoeba histolytica. Now, the cysts of Entamoeba histolytica can resist chlorination, gastric acidity, and desiccation. It can also survive in a moist environment for several weeks. So now, I am going to discuss the mode of transmission of Entamoeba histolytica into human. Mode of transmission Human acquires infection by three probable routes. Fecal oral route. It is the common route. We get infected by ingestion of contaminated food or water with quadrinucleated cysts. Sexual contact. It is very rare. Infection may occur either by anogenital or orogenital contact, especially in developed countries among homosexual males. Vector. Very rarely, flies and cockroaches may mechanically transmit the cysts from feces and contaminate food and water. Here, I have tried to explain the life cycle of Entamoeba histolytica. After swallowing food contaminated with Entamoeba cysts in small intestine, the cyst wall gets lysed by trypsin and a single tetranucleated trophozoite or metacyst is liberated. This process is known as excystation. The tetranucleated trophozoite eventually undergoes a series of nuclear and cytoplasmic divisions. As a result, eight small metacystic trophozoites are produced. Metacystic trophozoites are then carried by peristalsis to ileocecal region of large intestine. Here, they multiply by binary fission. They colonize on the mucosal surfaces and crypts of the large intestine. After colonization, trophozoites show different courses depending on various factors like host susceptibility, age, sex, nutritional status, host immunity, intestinal motility, transit time, and intestinal flora. The major damages to host caused by the trophozoite stage. After some days when the intestinal lesion starts healing and patient improves, the trophozoites transform into pre-cysts and then into quadrinucleated cysts. This is called encystation. This process occurs only in the large gut. Now, the quadrinucleated cysts are liberated in fishes. Factors that induced cyst formation include food deprivation, overcrowding, desiccation, accumulation of waste products and cold temperatures. Mature quadrinucleated cysts released in feces can survive in the environment and become the infective form. Immature cysts and trophozoites are sometimes excreted but get disintegrated in the environment. So this is all about the mode of transmission and life cycle of Entamoeba histolytica. If you have any query, please comment, share the video if you like, subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos. Stay with us, keep watching, thank you.